Minister Pato wants the PNG Department of Foreign Affairs and Immigration to have a young workforce, a workforce that is on par with other countries that PNG has relations with. He has traveled extensively over the last four months, and this is what he observed on his trips overseas. I have seen in my trips in the international uh, conferences that so many young people who are driven to do the right thing for their country, who want to take ownership of you know, what, what is the agenda that their country is driving, what are those opportunities that are available to them. And uh, I would like us this year to look to see what we can do for our young people. He first met with his staff yesterday since taking office and told them to work hard as this department was the gateway to fostering foreign investments in the country. He said the department has benefited substantially in the 2013 budget and employees should change their focus to make this department a premier government department. Issues of not having a permanent office space were also raised by the acting secretary, Lucy Bogari. Foreign Affairs Department previously occupied an office space at the Somare Foundation building, but relocated to Moale House after it was condemned. Minister Pato promised to make a submission to Cabinet to acquire land to have a permanent building for the department. In the meantime, he challenged his staff to come up with a foreign policy for the Honil government. Ruth Rungula National, MTV News.